Hello friends, it's Liz from Little Things Farms <laughs> and Jesse getting me ice cream. <laughs> uh, so anyways, we have not been feeling so great this week, but uh, we managed to get some dinners recorded and we hope you're enjoying them. All right, so one of my challenge, three of us challenge goals is to start getting rid of some of these little things that I have. Yes, this bottle is very little like if I hold my finger up to it you can see it is a really little bottle of like a hot sauce um my dad brought it home from Florida and it's been sitting on our shelves and I decided it needed to get used up so we made a crock pot of chili and took it to church. It's super simple. It was just I uh, soaked some beans and then um, once again used my barbecued mango and tomato soup and some corn. But then <clears throat> for flavoring we used this um, gator sauce. I don't know if anybody would be interested in it. It was really good. It kind of spicy. I put the whole bottle in. Just mostly because I wanted to get rid of it. But, um, it was good. Jesse, Jesse, it's the chickens. You need to feed me. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Where are you at? I need you to feed me. Last night we had spaghetti for dinner, so I didn't record it. Like, how simple is spaghetti? We cooked the pasta, added the sauce, and put ground beef with it. So, for lunch today, we're using the leftover spaghetti noodles and some of the chili. And we are going to add some cheese at the end and make, like, chili mac hamburger helper. Okay. So, we're just going to ladle some of our chili mix in. Turn the burner on low. And make a mess. Because that's what I do best. So you probably have seen this week that our meals are super, super simple. Um, hold on, I better make sure I'm not... Oh, did you guys have fun? I'm still working on this new... Try that. New tripod, I don't like it as well. Um, our meals have been super simple. Um, I, I mean, I don't have the big C word, but... Well, you know, the C-O-V word. But I'm just not quite feeling it. So Jesse's been very helpful. And he's he likes to cook, but he likes to do simpler things. Stick to what he already knows. So, and you can hear I'm sniffling. So we're making chili mac for lunch. Let it heat up, and then we're going to put some cheese on the top super simple it's got proteins it's got the beans it's got fruit from the mango it's got tomato soup so it's got vegetables plus it's got corn plus it gets rid of my chili and spaghetti pasta so we'll be good to go <clears throat> just kind of stir it up the pasta was in the fridge, so it's kind of cold. It's not wanting to stir real well. Stuffy nose. So we'll let this heat up, put some cheese with it, and it'll be lunch. And we may eat it again for dinner, depending on how I'm feeling. So we'll be back. Okay, so it's warmed up. I stirred it some, which makes the beans and the corn fall to the bottom. So I scoop from the bottom. Nice and hot. And you will notice that 90% of our dishes are plastic. And that is because my little people and my family their wrists are weaker, and the heavier the container, the harder to carry. 
sprinkle some cheese on the top and we're good to go. So I've decided we're gonna make uh, cheesy broccoli soup, but I have a bag of cauliflower rice that needs to get used up, one last bell pepper, and some frozen celery. So they're just going in the pot as well. Voila! Like magic, there it is. Uh, half the Velveeta, cause I don't need the whole thing. The broccoli is down underneath. Oh, maybe right in there you can see a little. I just chopped up the pepper, tossed in the celery right down there, and then tossed the cauliflower on top. Um, because it will, uh, the vegetables will make lots of liquid anyways, I don't add a lot of liquid to it. There is like maybe a cup of um, water in the bottom just so that it gets it the steam and everything. Put a little salt in to start sweating some of those vegetables. And then we're just going to turn it on high because I want it to be done. And then I can always turn it down on low later. And let it cook and I can rest a little bit and that's going to be dinner. All right, we're going to check on dinner. It's already been stirred, but ooh, look at that. Cheesy broccoli cauliflower soup. And then we are using up some crackers and uh, not breadcrumbs, croutons left. It looks just like oh, homeschool finest economics class, learning to fill out a checking about deposit slip. Hello, uh, today is Tuesday, I believe. I believe it's Tuesday. Um, so it's kind of like a clean out the refrigerator. So we have some uh, mushrooms, sauteed up mushrooms and onions. We're going to dump those in the bowl. And I have um, a bag of cauliflower that I found. So we're going to kind of make like a cauliflower fritter. So I have, this only came with one blade and it's super small. So it works really good. Sinuses, allergies, cold. I don't really think it's like a... Like a cold, cold, like you would per se get for winter because I don't have any other symptoms. Just this funky <clears throat> nose, which I have bad allergies. Like I'm allergic to everything. So, um, it could easily be just that too. I don't know. Um, just because we've been trying to clean through stuff, get stuff out of the house because we're getting ready for my surgery. Um, I'm one of those crazy people that like to be over prepared. All right, I'll be back in just a second. All right, so we got that all chopped up. Super fine, almost like cauliflower rice. So it's perfect. We're gonna dump that in there. Sorry for all the noise, guys. Um, I have these little balls of mozzarella cheese. I've never ran them through here, but we're going to try. Because I kind of want them chopped up. I don't think it's going to work. We'll try. We'll see what happens. They're um, Italian herb seasoning on them. Not a whole lot, but it is on there. Organized. And then, in order for me to be organized, the rest of the family needs to kind of be able to be organized too, right? So, with my surgery coming up, I'm not knowing how well I'm going to feel. And I wanted to be able to have, like, meals planned out for all of February. Because um, my meal train is not taking off like I kind of thought it would. Um, and so, uh, I... Uh, Googled some recipes that I thought would be easy. We would like them. Jesse and Joe can cook them. And then, um, I, since it's on, I Googled it, it's online, I copied the web link and then posted that, pasted it, not posted it, pasted it into my Google Calendar on a dinner slot on the night that I thought, well, let's eat it on this night. 
And then in my grocery task list department, I started making a list of all the stuff that we would need to have in the house on that particular week. So when it comes to that week, um, Anna's going to do the grocery shopping. So I can pull it up and I can say, okay, how much milk is there? Because as I've made my grocery list, I've kind of said like I'm going to, you know, this recipe needs a cup of milk, this recipe needs three cups of milk, so on my grocery list I put that I'm going to need to make sure I have four cups of milk. Um, same with all, I mean like everything I did that way. Oh, that works good. The pepper is pushing the cheese through. Uh, and so I'm thinking that, yes, it's a little extra work. And I'm sure there's a way I can put in like regular recipes that we like to eat. But I'm super excited to keep trying it because that way like I could start planning Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of that. Have my grocery list with me every time I go to the grocery store because it's on my phone. And if I see something that's on sale, I can always pull up the grocery list. And kind of would be a you know maybe a little tedious but I could flip through each week and see if I thought I was gonna be able to use it up so that might be helpful we'll see plus I would also be helpful come holiday season um, I would already know like two three four months in advance uh, what I'm gonna need for Thanksgiving what I'm gonna need for Christmas and I can buy it when it's on sale. So there's the cheese, the green and yellow pepper. Ugh. All right, well, the chickens are getting the rest of that a little bit. Okay, so. <clears throat> I think our chickens are finally getting back to laying. We'll see. Um, so we have a little chicken container over there now. And then um, I'm just like, like always, I'm just guesstimating on what I'm putting in here. Uh, some eggs, cause that's gonna help hold it all together. I'll probably do four eggs. And yes, these are store bought eggs. My chickens like to take a couple months off. It's usually in the winter and I don't mind. All right, before I start stirring, um, I have a Raymond noodle pack, so plenty of sodium in that. Chicken flavored. Uh, my kids, I don't know why, but they do not eat the flavor packs out of their Raymond noodles all the time. So I just save them in the spice drawer. A little bit of spelt flour to help hold it all together to eat a very low gluten diet. I don't necessarily say I eat gluten free because I will eat gluten, but I just eat a low gluten diet. So I use, if I'm gonna make something at home, grain wise, I um, use spelt flour. It's got a little bit of gluten in it, but not a lot. So I can use it in like a normal recipe, but it's not, um, as much gluten. Little pepper. And you guys are gonna laugh, but I'm gonna show you my uh, salt and pepper. Because I'm trying to use stuff up. So, so this is my pink Himalayan salt. There was just this little bit in the bottom, but when we were cleaning out some cupboards, moving stuff around, I found two little jars that had regular salt, so I just dumped them in here. Just gonna use it up. And same with my pepper. This is like a mill, so you know, you twist it and it grinds your pepper. So there are some pepper corns in the bottom of that. You can't really see them, but they're there. Um, you can maybe see, I know you can. When I move the jar, they move around. There they are. I don't know if you can see them in there. Um, but I found another jar of pepper ground in the spice drawer. And so I'm like, I just dumped it in there. And then, so you get a little bit of fresh pepper and a little bit of not fresh pepper all in there. So we're just going to mix this up. I was going to make stir fry and they were like, oh, stir fry. 
so maybe fritters are more their cup of tea today. I think we might need some more egg and flour. They're not holding together. Probably because I probably really should have cooked the cauliflower, but we're hungry and I didn't have time to cook it. So we're just winging it. All right. Uh, you can put it out on the blue cooler outside, but make sure the lid is on it. We got a guy coming today to pick up some stuff, and I forgot that Joe has an audiology appointment, and Jesse has to get some work done, so he will not be able to just help, you know, hand it through the door to him. So we put it in a tub, and we're putting it outside for him, and then I'll let him know. Oh, that looks much better. I think that'll hold together pretty good. All right, now we got to move you to the stove area. All right, still working with this. I don't know. All right, so we're going to try a fritter here. Lemon or pepper chicken? Oh, yeah, that'll work. Lemon pepper Lemon. <laughs> I know how to read. Back here in this pot, we are going to put the um, stir fry and Jesse went and got me some lemon peppered chicken. in the back skillet break it up a little bit and we eat this more like um, uh, egg roll in a bowl like I don't make rice to go with it And then I had one of these left over from um, food distribution. Nobody wanted to try it. They were worried because it has um, it says miso vegetables, and they um, they see this package in there, and uh, it looks kind of. Scary. It's actually rice, but uh, it does look scary. <laughs> oh, I can see the mozzarella cheese melting. Looks so yummy. See some of those strings? That needs to get pushed into the. So, totally not healthy with the frying of our vegetables, but uh, my picky eater's not home, so we get the liberty to have a little bit of fun with our food. We are not big on buying paper products. Like, I don't buy paper towel and napkins. I do buy toilet paper. Um, so, when we do go out to eat at a fast food restaurant, if we're in a hurry for something... I always bring home all my napkins and save them for days when we decide we want to fry something. Just to help drain some of that grease off of our fritters. Believe it or not, they're holding together pretty good. I'm really impressed. And then uh, we will probably not eat all these as a fritter. 
So I'm thinking I have that little package of brown rice from the stir fry that we're not going to use. And uh, kind of thinking I almost could turn this into a casserole for dinner. Add that brown rice to it and maybe we'll add some different seasonings. Stir up the stir fry. Look at those pea pods, they're huge. Kind of let that steam. I don't know where my big lid is, so just for now we'll let it sit with that little lid. Give it some steaming. Life has been crazy. I can't find my regular spatula either. This is the one the dog ate the handle off of. We were watching a dog, and let me tell you, that thing ate and chewed on everything. Okay, so if I don't remember if I told you, but I had turned the heat down a little bit ago. I think now we need to turn that heat back up to get a good skewer on those. So we'll turn the heat back up. I'm gonna work on cleaning up some of my mess. I think I'll make each one of us two fritters. I might use the sauce that came in the stir fry and dump that and the rice in with the leftover um, cauliflowers. Put that in a pan that might be different. The uh, cheesy broccoli cauliflower soup I made, all three of us loved it. It was delicious. Once again, not really a recipe. <laughs> Just threw what I had together in the crock pot and let the crock pot do the work. But I am feeling better today, so that is always a bonus. See how green them veggies are getting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I'm thinking because normally it's not me that's going in for surgery. It's usually one of the two kids or Joe. Um, but with my canned chicken, I could almost make this meal at the hospital in the microwave. I would just need a bowl. I mean, microwaving it, you know, I mean, everybody has their own opinion on that, but I, especially when it's Anna, because she's still so young, I hate leaving her um, in the hospital room for too long, so I don't usually go down to the cafeteria and stuff. I usually try to cook whatever I can. There's usually a little family room that has a microwave right there on the floor, and so I try to just cook in that, so... That lemon chicken has a ton of flavor, but I am going to put just a little bit of this on it, and we'll stir it up. And I think I'm going to save the rest of that. All right, that one looks like it's ready to come out. Anna's at band. Today she has band and choir. So she's there all day. One more fritter. And 
then I'm just gonna dump the rest of this sauce in with the veggie and egg mix that we made for our fritters. And I'm gonna toss this little package of brown rice in with it. Gotta have the handy dandy scissors. Definitely you can see today's lunch is just simple and fast. And since it's technically not leftovers, I don't feel bad for feeding everybody leftovers for dinner. Well, leftovers redesigned, I guess. All right. Flip this fritter. This fritter looks like it's ready to come out. Stir this again, now that we put that sauce in there to mix it all up. Looking good. Alright, I'm going to turn that back burner on. I think we can turn the front burner on. All right, we will see you guys. Okay, so I forgot before I started adding stuff. This was my leftover fritter mix. So basically, cauliflower, peppers. I added some heavy cream and some cheese. And I'm just going to stir it up, put it in a 9 by 13 pan. And it will turn into cheesy cauliflower for dinner tonight. getting his audiology done super excited to find out how deaf he is all right so jesse made dinner because i was out delivering food today so we have some marinated chicken root vegetables the cheesy cauliflower casserole and some bread i don't remember what he called it but it's got like olives in it it's pretty good my partner in crime for blessing boxes has changed today I gotta show him the ropes, cause we'll be going in for surgery, then him and Anna get to do it. I have never seen Cosette's box so low. Let's fill it up. Alrighty, there we go. We got lots of breads on the top, six or eight of them. The big square bread, these are so good. Turned into pizza. Some salad kits and some butternut squash.